Welcome to an adventure in the world of anthuriums, the vibrant heart-shaped bloomers that steal the show in any garden or indoor setting. Anthuriums are like the superstars of the plant world, always ready for their close-up with their striking glossy foliage and stunning long-lasting blooms. But how do you get your anthurium to put on such a spectacular show? That's the question we'll be addressing in this video, diving into the secrets of making these tropical beauties bloom like never before. We'll explore the balance of light, water, temperature, and nutrients, and even reveal some lesser-known tips that could be the key to your anthurium's blooming success. So whether you're a seasoned gardener or a green thumb newbie, there's something for everyone in this blooming adventure. Embark with us on this blooming journey to transform your anthurium from a simple houseplant to a radiant showpiece. Our first secret to unlocking your anthurium's blooming potential lies in the realm of light. Now you might be thinking, well, all plants need light, right? True, but anthuriums are a bit like Goldilocks when it comes to their light requirements. Too much direct sunlight and they'll get a sunburn. Too little and they'll just sulk in the corner refusing to bloom. So what's the magic formula? Think moderate to indirect bright light. Imagine a cozy nook by a window where the sunlight filters in but never directly hits. That's your anthurium sweet spot. It's like enjoying a sunny day under the shade of a tree. You get the warmth and the light, but none of the scorching heat. Just remember, if your anthurium's leaves start to yellow, that might be a sign of too much light. On the other hand, if the leaves turn dark green and the plant refuses to bloom, it might be craving more light. So remember, just like us, anthuriums too need their fair share of light, not too much, not too little, but just right. As we dive deeper into our secrets, the second one surfaces from the depths of watering. Just as a parched traveler finds solace in a sip of water, your anthurium thirsts for a weekly drink. But here's the twist, the amount it craves is not fixed, it's a dance with the light. On bright days, the plant sweats more, yearning for more hydration. Conversely, on cloudy days, it sips lightly. Imagine being at a party. On some nights, you might dance until dawn, working up a thirst for more water. On others, you might prefer a quiet evening, barely sipping your drink. That's exactly how your anthurium feels. The light exposure dictates its watering needs. So, remember, the secret is not just in watering, but in understanding your plant's unspoken thirst. It's in creating a balance, a harmony between the sun's rays and the water droplets. And this harmony, this perfect symphony, is what makes your anthurium bloom like a dream. Watering, when done right, can create a ripple effect on your anthurium's bloom. The third secret is all about setting the right temperature. You see, anthuriums are tropical plants that love warmth. They thrive in a daytime temperature range of 70 to 90 degrees Fahrenheit. But here's the kicker. They also need the night to cool down a bit with temperatures above 60 degrees Fahrenheit. It's like they're on a constant vacation, basking in the warm sun during the day and enjoying the cool, breezy nights. But remember, temperature is just one piece of the puzzle. Anthuriums need a combination of the right conditions to bloom. It's like baking a cake. If you miss one ingredient, the cake won't rise. Similarly, if the temperature isn't right, your anthurium might not bloom. So let the temperature rise and fall and watch your anthurium bloom in all its glory. Our fourth secret whispers through the mist humidity. Now let's unravel this secret. Anthuriums are tropical beauties born and bred in the warm, humid environments of the tropics. So, it's no surprise that they thrive in environments that mimic their natural habitat. And one of the key elements of this habitat is high humidity. Imagine the dense jungles, the early morning dew, the constant mist in the air. That's what anthuriums crave. A humidity level of 80 to 90 percent is the sweet spot for these plants. This high moisture content in the air ensures that the plant's stomata, tiny pores on the leaf surface, remain open facilitating photosynthesis and promoting vibrant blooming. So how can you create this tropical paradise at home? Simple, use a humidifier or place a tray filled with water near your plant. The evaporating water will increase the moisture level in the air. But remember, balance is key. Too little humidity and your plant might not bloom, too much, and you risk fungal infections. So let your anthurium bask in the mist and bloom its heart out. Our fifth secret sprouts from the soil itself fertilization. Just like us, plants need nutrients to grow and bloom. And for anthuriums, phosphorus is the secret ingredient. This nutrient is essential for the plant's growth as it promotes the development of roots and flowers, giving your anthurium the boost it needs to bloom vibrantly. Think of phosphorus as the plant's personal trainer, pushing it to reach its full blooming potential. But remember, moderation is key. 
Over-fertilizing can do more harm than good, causing damage to the roots and leaves. So how often should you fertilize? Every few weeks is a good rule of thumb. Imagine your anthurium as a star athlete, with phosphorus being the secret to its winning performance. And just like a star athlete needs a balanced diet, so does your anthurium. A phosphorus-rich fertilizer is part of this balanced diet, helping your plant to bloom and flourish. Remember, a well-fed anthurium is a blooming anthurium. The sixth secret lies hidden in the process of repotting. Now you might be thinking, repotting, really? Yes, indeed. Repotting is an essential part of ensuring your anthurium plant blooms vibrantly. But it's not just about any old repotting, it's about doing it at the right time, in the right season, and using the right soil. Think of it as moving your plant into a new, more spacious home. Just as we would feel rejuvenated with a change of scenery, so does your anthurium. The perfect time for this move? Spring. This season brings with it a burst of new growth energy, making it an ideal time to repot your anthurium. And the soil? Well, the anthurium has a taste for the unique. It thrives best in anthurium-specific soil. This soil is specially formulated to provide the perfect balance of nutrients, ensuring your anthurium not only survives but thrives. So don't shy away from repotting, it's a step towards a blooming revolution. Our seventh secret is all about the art of pruning. Pruning is not just about giving your plant a good haircut, it's a strategic process that inspires new growth and in turn vibrant blooms. Now you may ask why prune? Well, pruning removes dead leaves and spent flowers, the parts of the plant that are no longer productive. And when these parts are removed, your anthurium can channel its energy into creating new, lush growth. Think of it as redirecting the plant's resources from the old to the new, like an investment in the plant's future. It's like saying, hey Anthurium, let's focus on the new, exciting growth, not the past. So next time you see a dead leaf or a spent flower, don't be afraid to give your Anthurium a little trim. Pruning when done right can inspire an Anthurium to bloom like never before. And finally, our 8th, 9th, and 10th secrets unite to form the ultimate defense pest control. You may have done everything right, you've given your Anthurium the right light, water, temperature, humidity, and you've even mastered the art of repotting and pruning. But what if, despite all your careful nurturing, your anthurium is still not blooming? It might be under attack. Yes, you heard it right. Your plant could be facing an unseen enemy, a pest infestation. Pests are sly. They creep in unnoticed, infesting your beloved anthurium and hindering its growth and blossoming potential. They suck the life out of your plant, leaving it weak and unable to bloom. But don't worry, you are not powerless in this battle. Implementing pest control measures is your secret weapon. Regularly inspect your anthurium for signs of pests. Look out for discolored leaves, stunted growth, or a general lack of vitality. These could all be signs of a pest invasion. If you spot any of these signs, spring into action. There are various pest control measures you can employ, from homemade remedies to commercial products. Choose what suits you best, but remember the key is consistency. Regular pest control checks and treatments can keep these invaders at bay ensuring the health and blooming potential of your anthurium. So, let's not underestimate the importance of pest control. It's not just about getting rid of bugs, it's about creating a safe and healthy environment for your anthurium to thrive and bloom in all its glory. It's about giving your plant the freedom to grow unafraid and unbothered by pesky pests. So guard your anthurium against pests and watch it bloom unafraid and unbothered. And with that, we've unraveled all our secrets to making your anthurium bloom. We've journeyed through the light secret, the watering secret, the temperature secret, the humidity secret, the fertilizer secret, the repotting secret, and even the pest control secret. Each one a crucial step in nurturing your anthurium to its vibrant bloom. We hope you found value in these secrets and that they'll guide you in your plant care journey. Remember the beauty of a blooming anthurium is a reward in itself, a testament to your dedication and love for your plant. So are you ready to see your anthurium bloom? Are you excited to witness its radiant colors and captivating charm? We sure are. How did you love our blooming guide? Share the video, subscribe to our channel, and let's grow together in this journey of plant love.